hello guys welcome to my youtube channel i'm very excited that you're here and in this video we're going to be creating a text reveal animation this is actually for absolute beginners for all you pros out there you can still learn in 10 or 2 because there are some things i actually do to make you know things really look cool in this particular tutorial so please stay tuned and enjoy the rest of the tutorial thank you First thing I will do is to create our composition. Make sure it's on 90, 20 by 1080. Make sure it's on 30 frames per second and 20 seconds long. So I'm just going to name this main. Okay, and I'll click OK. I like to make sure that this is fit to screen. Then the next thing I like to do is to create my stroke. I'll click on my pen to and do this, right? And this. So I have something like this. And I'll make sure that it's about 20 pixels okay so i'll open this up because it has by zooming a little bit can you see that it has sharp edge so i need to make sure that is a round edge so i'll open up my content go to my shape go to my stroke then i'll change the bot cap to round cap and as soon as i do that can you see it has round edge i think we are done with this for now let me kind of zoom out again okay so next thing i would like to do is to add trim part animation to this so I'll open this up again let me just have a neat arrangement here then go to add then click on trim part then open up trim parts so i can see my timeline in seconds then i'm going to go to one second set my keyframe of the end at 100 percent then move it backward and set it at zero so you have this simple animation just coming revealing down so i'll highlight this and i'll do easy ease to go to my graph editor and make sure i'm using the speed graph not the value graph change back to the move tool then make sure i select the end alone so i can see this handles alone and drag this backward so if i play this this is what i have right this is what i have right so the next thing i like to do is to apply position animation to this but before that let me rename my shape layer to stroke then I'll move this, I'll press P for position and I'll move this to the side, right? I'll move this to this point. Then I'll set my keyframe here. Then in three seconds, I'll move it to the other side. I'll move it to this side. Then I'll highlight this, then do easy ease. I'll go to my graph editor and do this, okay? So if I play this now, this is what I have. Okay, so I'm not done yet. I think let me just adjust this to be in three second mark. Then I would go to fourth second and just check this so that this and this will be the same value. And on the sixth second, I'll copy this and then paste here. So I have to go back to where it's coming from. So if I play this now, this is what I have. Just a simple animation revealing left and right. So of course, I need to align this, go to the graph editor apply the same curves to it so if I, let me play this one more time yeah and our stroke animation is done i like to change the color of this so if i click on this i can change the color so i'm going to use this value right this yellow click ok so i'm drawn with the stroke animation so the next i like to do is to have my text so the very first text i'll have is the text review select my move to and make sure it's par the paragraph is centralized and of course align to the center too as well when i align the text to the center apparently my stroke is not aligned to the center so what i'll do is i'll go back to my stroke press p then make sure that my time indicator is on one of this click on the word position or align all of this and then adjust everything at once until it's centralized to the text so we want to make sure that it's covering the whole text right and which is doing already now so let's move on so what i would like to do is i would like this to reveal it from the left what i need to do i'll make sure my time decator is at where the stroke is here so i'm going to create a custom shape so i'm going to click on my pen tool and then have something like this drawing a new shape now let me make sure that this is straight enough can hold down shift as you are clicking so it to be straight so i'm just going to adjust this to this point i think here is good then 
I'll take away the stroke by holding down Alt and click until I make sure there's no stroke. Then hold down Alt and click on the fill until you have a solid. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to name this text reveal mat. I'm going to make this yellow, right? So this is a script. It's called label. It's a label script. So if you want to quickly change your color, you can just quickly do this. But if you don't have the script, it's quite simple. All you need to do is just click on your color here and then make sure you change it to yellow and you're good. So I'm going to take my text review at this point, then I'll parent it to the stroke. So if I do this, can you see what's happening? It's actually going along with it. So if it goes back, so what I'll do now is I'll take my text review, then toggle switches and mode. If you cannot see your track mat, then click on this and do alpha mat, right? So it will make sure that anywhere that shape is, it reveals, right? If it's not there, it doesn't. So if it's go back, it's going to play it up, right? So this is exactly what we want to achieve. Now, the next thing is to create another text. Click this duplicate and I'm going to change this text to motion. Okay. So for now, let us hide these ones that are under, including the stroke. So it won't confuse us. So I'm going to have motion. So I'm just going to increase this text a little bit. So I'm going to make sure the anchor point is at the center. So I'm going to use my fan anchor point to make sure it's at the center by holding control to snap. Okay. Select my move to then increase this a lot to about 180. So I'll change this text color. So I'm going to use the color I prepared for this. I'll double click this and use something like cyan color, right? Let me just put in a specific value. So I'll be using this. I'll click OK. So let me activate my stroke. Let's see how it's doing so far. So let's see if it covers the whole thing. Yeah, I think it would. It's doing a great job already. So all I need to do is to create another mat for this. But meanwhile, I need to make sure I this text it's not appearing immediately. It should come at the third second where I have this other animation here. At this point, when it's going back, I want it to reveal this. This way, I'll draw another shape that will act as mat for motion. So I'll change the color so I can able to recognize this and I have to draw custom shape for this for the mat. So I'll click on the pen to then do this. But before I, before I start clicking, make sure I click out so I can draw a shape. So I need to do something like this. Right, so hold on shift to have a straight line, shift to have a straight line, then cover it up. So now I have my mat, but there's a challenge here. My text, you know, I duplicated this, so it's, it has half a mat on it. So all I need to do is just select this and say no mat. Let's just leave it at no mat for now. So at this point, let me reduce the opacity on to make sure that it's covering the whole thing, which is fine. All I need to do is now do half a mat now, and then it's going to be revealing this. But before then, let me do no math. All I need to do now is to take this now. Let me name this to motion text math. Click out. Then I'll parent this to the stroke. So you can either use this pick quick or select this and select the layer that you want to parent to. Okay, then I'll adjust this. Let me change the color of this to this. And I'll adjust this to this point. If I play this now, I have something like this, right? You've not done anything basically. So let me just select this and do alpha mat. So by the time this is coming back now, can you see it's revealing this? So let's reveal the one under now. So if I play this, if I drag this, text reveal this, and reveal that. So this is basically all the animation. Let me just drag over it. Can you see? The most important thing is the alpha mat. Whatever the shape mat must always be following the stroke. So this is following the stroke and the other shape mat is following the stroke too as well. So, and I actually have to arrange it accordingly. Okay. Now that's how you get this done. So for every other thing, it's just bonus right now. You can actually stop this tutorial here and move on. If you're aiming for the bonus lesson, let's go. So what I'll do is I'll close this up and I would select all of this, okay, and pre-comp it. So Shift Control C is a shortcut, or you can just right click and click on pre-compose. And I'm going to name this text review and click OK. Then now I want to create a background for this. I'll select my move to right click here, go to new, create a solid. Is that comp size? And I'm name this BG for background. And I will change the color to something like this. The color does not really matter anyway. 
because we are going to have an effect to it so i'm going to click ok and i'm just going to drop this behind but we don't want it to be flat this looks really cool but we don't want it to be flat so i'll click on my background then go to my effect and preset or if you have the fx console just do control space then look for gradient ramp and let me just hide this for now let's focus on the background so i'm going to change the color here and i'm going to use this value like a well saturated blue then i'll come here and change the color as well more like the dark value of this then change this to from linear ramp to radial ramp which is the ramp shape and then i'm going to zoom out using my middle mouse then drag this out here then drag this at the center so still zoom out a little bit so i can it can really fit in right so this is cool let me activate this now right so now we have something more interesting right now so the next thing i would like to do is to create a reflection so all i need to do is select this main text review pre-comp then duplicate and i'll press s for scale and i'll unchain this then i'll drag this down to let's say about minus 20 all right let's do minus 20 because drag this down below so that it can exactly form its shadow or sort the next thing i like to do is to add fast box blocks so let me rename this first to reflection then i'll add fast box blur then i'll increase this to about let's say 20 pixels i'll make sure i check repeat edge pixels then increase the iteration to about let's say 16 so you can see what we have so if i play this can you see that it's it's, the, it's actually following the reflection or i will i think i would like to drag this further down so it can be where exactly this is landing yeah we are getting there so the next thing is to reduce the opacity so i'll reduce the opacity to about t for opacity don't forget i'll reduce the opacity to about let's say 55 percent so it won't be so strong so if i play this now right so this is actually looking very very interesting on the main i can go ahead and add glow to this so i'll add glow this and by adding glow, you can see the effect of that but then we need to check tweak the setting so i'll make the threshold to about 100 change the radius to about 305 then change the glow intensity to about 1.3 this is without the glow this is with the glow without the glow with the glow let me also take this back to where this is showing so this is without the glow this is with the glow these are just tiny details that will just make your work stand out basically so if i play this now yeah that is it all right guys so before we go i can notice a little bit of some glitch here by zooming in all right so we need to fix this quickly so all you need to do is just go into the main and make sure your stroke is on top and that should fix it so it will give that detail of it really revealing without having that glitch all right if i play this now you can see that it's looking more smooth covering it well but one last thing just one last thing i promise if you go into this and make sure it fit the screen i would like to add a little bit of some follow through with the text so what i'll do is this i'll go to the one second mark right then the text reveal so i'll set my skill to 110 which is 1 and 10 then go to the third second and then set this back to 100 so let me align this do easy ease and then go to the graph editor and do something like this okay so if i play this now can you guys see that so it's more like a follow through animation and that makes it look more interesting right so let's just try and wrap this up so i'll go to the first second mark copy this and paste so that there will not be any animation here but when it gets to the sixth second when it's going back all i need to do is alight this copy and then paste here as well so it's going to like go back to where it's coming from so let's play this again okay i think it's okay i think i would just like to tighten this one a little bit more so let's see how that looks i think i think i like that i need to apply same scale animation to the motion more like it so let me zoom out and then let's play the animation from here so there's a problem here because i've scaled this all i need to do is to cut this off from here because nothing's happening till it gets to this point so from the beginning nothing's happening and then you can have this okay and 
that's it pretty much so let's go back to where we are coming from which is the main now if i play this we have our text reveal animation done hey guys hope you really enjoy that please if you do enjoy this you can try and drop a comment or if you have any requests drop a comment i will be glad to take them on and of course give this a thumbs up subscribe if you are here to subscribe that's the only way you could support this and only way you could get a real-time update from me and i'll see you guys next time Thank you.